looking kind of rough right now since I just woke up and I immediately have to get my day started. So I wanted to make this video right now before I do anything else, okay? And for those of y'all that don't follow any of this YouTube shit, I applaud you. I shouldn't even be following it, but, you know, when this shit pops up in my feed, you know, sometimes it's too tempting to not watch, you know, because it's entertaining at least nonetheless. But for those of y'all that take this shit seriously and you guys really follow these red pill, black pill, pickup artists, all this shit, something you guys have to understand is that they're all frauds, every single one of them. Using two recent examples that exemplify what I mean, and I'm going to bring this back in the context of controlled opposition, because I've been talking about that video for the last couple of weeks now. It's going to be a very long video, and I'm going to thoroughly break this down in detail. One point I'm going to highlight in that video is you have two types of controlled opposition. You got accidental controlled opposition, and you have intentional controlled opposition. Alex and John and and John Anthony, two pickup artists, I'm going to use them as an example because they're the most, they make it extremely obvious that they're frauds. And here's what I mean by that. Accidental controlled opposition is controlled opposition. This makes up the majority of them. It's controlled opposition that really believes what they say out of their mouths and really believes the message and product that they're selling to you. For those of y'all that don't know, these two individuals are popular YouTubers, popular pickup artists who sell programs to teach young men how to get women. Now, the main reason I think they really believe what they're singing is because one of these two individuals sues anybody that talks bad about them. Well, go ahead and try to sue me because everything I'm about to say about you in this video is going to be using things that are in YouTube footage that come straight from your own mouth, okay? When you believe this strongly in your own product that you're suing anybody that talks bad about it, you, you're not, it's not your job to deceive people because you really believe you're not deceiving people. Let me break down exactly what I mean. Their entire product and what they're selling to you is based off of a myth that getting women is hard. It's based off of a myth, a perpetuated lie, that women have these super high standards for men that they sleep with when they don't. It's 2022. The women are more promiscuous than ever. The women are more sexually liberated than ever. Their standards are lower than it has ever been. As long as you're willing to open the door and leave the house and go outside and socialize and actually talk to chicks and make your intentions clear and obvious as soon as you meet them you can walk in, you can walk into a bar <clears throat> a club get laid that same night it's not difficult you got the black pillars that talk about if you don't look a certain way women won't sleep with you completely ignoring the fact that if they had sex with a woman and they asked the woman to show them pictures of some of the guys they slept with previously, they would be utter flabbergasted. I'm talking fat guys. I'm talking smelly guy. I'm talking guys that just look busted, right? The next time any of y'all have sex with a woman, now this may completely turn a woman off. I'm going to warn you in advance. If you do this, the chick may never sleep with you ever again because... This will make it look like you're very insecure. But for the sake of science, if anybody watching this video is a black pillar, the next time you have sex with a woman, ask her to open her phone and show you pictures of some of the previous guys she slept with. That will kill 
all this shit about looks, Maxim. Now, Alex and John Anthony, neither of them are black pillars. Neither of them are red pillars. Nonetheless, a lot of what they say will... A lot of what they say appeals to men that follow these false ideologies, right? Because their whole business exists on, again, the belief that women are hard to get when they're not. They're actually very easy to get. Women are very easy to talk to, easier to talk to than guys, in my opinion, because, I mean, look at what's happening with these two guys. These two guys have been friends for years, and they deceived each other and hid their real feelings from each other for years, and now it's all coming out into the light. Women usually don't do this. I mean, most women are not going to give a fuck enough about you to put on this act for that long. And women that do give a fuck about you, as long as you have game, you won't have to worry about this problem. I'm specifically going to tackle their game and highlight exactly why all these motherfuckers are fraud. When you understand how easy it is to sleep with women, you no longer need a dating coach. It really is that easy. People make fun of my looks on the internet all the time, yet I don't have a problem with getting chicks, sleeping with chicks. And in some of the previous communities that I have been in, which a lot of y'all are subbed from, those communities gossiped about the chicks I was dating all the time. So women aren't hard to get. The real game is after you get the woman. The real game is keeping the woman loyal to you and making sure they don't cause you headaches. You get what I'm saying? And if you're not a cook, making sure the woman doesn't sleep with other guys. This is where their game fails. And this is why they're all frauds. A major point in keeping a woman loyal to you and making sure she doesn't mess around is you have to be a man. You have to be strong enough to check your friends, your family members, your girlfriends, wives, etc. You have to be strong enough to check people close to you when they do something wrong the second they do something wrong and not turn a blind eye to it. Alex and Joan Anthony Lifestyle, essentially what they've been saying in recent videos is that they knew each other were frauds. They knew each other were not as good as at the game as the other person was portraying, but because they were friends, they both turned a blind eye to each other for years. They were too afraid to check each other when they knew something was fishy, yet they went on YouTube videos together to collab and sell you guys a goddamn product. When they were, but, And they knew each other were frauds. But because they were friends, because they were making money together, they didn't say shit until after they stopped being friends. Think about this shit logically. You have two fucking men that are coming on YouTube trying to teach you guys how to be better with women if they can't even check their own fucking friends you know they're not checking their girlfriends or their side chicks or their wives when they do something out of line one of the dating coaches lied and said that he was in an open relationship one way and that he was having sex with other women and the woman was staying loyal to him. Well, recently she came out and said that she's having sex with other guys too. Shocker, right? You can't keep women loyal to you if you don't check them when they're wrong. And I know that anybody that's too afraid to check their own friends when they see their friend doing something out of line, if you're not even strong enough to check a plutonic male friend that you're not having sex with, that you don't have that energy sharing connection with, I know you're not going to be checking your girlfriend. The woman that you're fucking, the woman that you're in love with, the woman that you're sharing that physical energy with. The easiest part of the game is getting chicks. The easiest part of the game is getting them to sleep with you. The easiest part of the game is getting dates with women. 
and getting them to want to hang around you. The hard part of the fucking game, which none of these fuckers talk about, is keeping the chick loyal to you and making sure she doesn't do anything out of line. But you can't do that if you can't even check your own friend. Now, the other fucking dating coach, and this is the guy that goes around suing everybody. You know, I tried to give him the benefit of a doubt because when it comes to actually getting chicks, his advice... His advice, he knows what he's doing when it comes to getting chicks. My biggest problem with him is that most of his game is deception. But if all you're looking to do is fuck chicks, hey man, his advice works. I don't implement it, but I was more so observing because, you know, there was an accusation. Because, like, when you first look at the guy's channel, he has an attractive girlfriend He's in an open relationship one way on his side, or so he claims. They all claim this, right? And he has a lot of proof in the industry. So even though he's a liar, he seemed legitimate. But this is another red flag you guys got to understand. Anything somebody does on the small scale, they'll do on the bigger scale. If somebody's telling small lies, they'll tell bigger lies. If somebody doesn't check their friends, they won't check their girlfriends. All these fuckers are fraud. So it came out that, you know, this guy that calls himself the number one dating coach in the world and sues anybody that disagrees with him, or not disagrees with him, sues anybody that defames him, my bad, you know. It came out that, you know, a rumor started that his girlfriend cheated on him. And, again, because this guy had a lot of proof, even though his proof was, you know, deceptive, unfortunately, I'm going to just keep it 100, yeah, if you lie to a woman, you will be able to sleep with a lot of them. However, you know, lies have speed, but truth has endurance. You know, your lies will come back to bite you in the ass later. And, ironically enough, allegedly the reason that, you know, his girlfriend cheated on him let me close that pop up, is because, you know, she came home and found used condoms. So, you know, she went on and cheated on him, allegedly. That's what the rumor is, right? So I was waiting. I was waiting to see what Mr. Johnny was going to say about this, right? So first he typed a comment and said, well, it's, not, it's technically not cheating because we were on a break. All these fuckers are fraud, man. But hold on. He didn't give the full story yet, so I'm just waiting. He recently did a YouTube video where he basically said that she was, that part was true. She came home and they were used condoms and she basically left, broke up with him. He calls it a break though, which this is another thing, right? You got these motherfucking coaches that tell you if a woman cheats on you, don't go back to her. If a woman breaks up with you, don't chase her. If a woman says you're on a break in the relationship, none of these motherfuckers practice what they actually preach. They're all fucking frauds. They're all controlled opposition, but the reason they're accidental controlled opposition and not intentional controlled opposition is because they really believe what the fuck they say. They really believe in do what I say, but not as I do. So he basically goes on YouTube and says, you know, yeah, she broke up with me, but we were on a break, right? He, he calls it a break, but basically she fucking walked out the house and left him, right? He said that they were on this break for three months, and this is, the dude cannot be aware that he's lying. There's no way, because in the same fucking breath, he says, she didn't cheat on me, she just made out with another guy, but she didn't sleep with anybody, she just made out with him. Guys. Why are y'all so fucking gullible? Why are y'all even listening to these fuckers? The dude said in the same sentence, she did not cheat on me. She just made out with another guy. And he's a, and he, they're all frauds. Every single one of them. I'm going to give you guys the game. 
a major way to tell if somebody is giving you the truth or not, look at how popular they are. If they're popular on YouTube, Instagram, social media, TV, etc., if their message is popular, they're not telling you the truth. Or they're not telling you the full truth. The absolute truth is not something you can say on the internet. The truth is unpopular. I'm saying in this video that getting woman is easy. This video wasn't going to get any views. However, if I did the opposite and said that you need looks, money, and status to get chicks because women have unrealistic standards and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, those videos get millions of views because they're selling you a lie. Women are human beings just like men are human beings. Human beings want companionship. Human beings don't want isolation. Women don't intentionally isolate themselves for a fairy tale, contrary to what these stupid fucking YouTubers are selling you. But these two YouTubers sell you that shit because in order for you to hire a fucking dating coach for a thousand dollars an hour, you gotta believe that they're, that woman are fucking hard to get in the first place. When all you gotta fucking do is leave the goddamn house and read the testimonials from these guys. Read, like, read the... Look up the type of people that buy these products. They're not leaving the fucking house. They'll go to their 9 to 5. They'll come home to cry about how they can't get any chicks. And then they'll hire these fucking dating co These frauds that are lying to them. When all they had to do was take that same thousand. Go out for 30 days straight. If you got a thousand dollars to fucking burn on a dating coach. Leave the fucking house. Go to a club. Go to a bar. Talk to some bitches. They're fucking easy to get. Where you need help with game is identifying when a woman is doing something that's going to jeopardize that relationship further down the line, which these guys have displayed they cannot help you with. The dude said in the same breath, she didn't cheat on me, she just made out with another guy after she broke up with me, but it was a break that like, bro, why are people even listening to these fuckers? But I know why. The truth is unpopular. The truth is hard to accept. Lies are easy to accept. Deception is easy to accept. That's how controlled opposition works. It takes a little bit of truth and dumps a bunch of bullshit on it. And it reels in the suckers and then keeps you confused forever. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I got a little heated here because this shit pisses me off, man. All of these guys are frauds. All of them. Their intent is not to help you. Their intent is to milk you. I just did a video called Human Capital. Their intent is to milk the human capital out of you. Stay awake, guys. Stop listening to controlled opposition. Stop listening to these fucking frauds. I don't, I usually don't make videos talking about specific people, but you know what? These two fuckers are such blatant examples of controlled opposition. I had no choice but to make this video. You got one fuck. Yeah. You, you, you got both of these guys admitting that they're too weak to challenge their own friends, which is a major part of the game. You have to be strong enough to detect truth from lies. When your own fucking friends are lying to your face, you have to be strong enough to slap them in the face once in a while. Or because these guys don't, they don't, they don't leave the fucking house, bruh. These guys met each other online. Yeah. It should be easier to check an online friend because you're not in person. You're not going to slap the shit out. Now, they didn't meet up a couple of times, though. But initially, like when they first started making videos together, it was an online relationship. They could have easily checked each other's lies on the internet, and nobody was going to get slapped. But they were too weak to do that. And this went on for years. Years, right? 
And then when they met each other in person, did anybody get slapped? No. Did anybody get checked? No. It was, ironically, it was only after they started arguing over a chick that they stopped being friends, right? And only then did both parties say that the other party was lying. I'm done, man. That's the end of this video. They can't even check their own plutonic male friends that they're not having sex with. Yet they want to teach you guys how to be good with women. When part of being good with women is you have to be able to check women when they do something out of line. And women are always watching. They watch if you check your friends when they're on that bullshit. They watch if you run away when the call ends and you go gossip about them like a bitch behind their back. They're observing this. You wonder why these fucking dating coaches can't keep their chicks loyal to them? It's because the women are observing them and seeing weakness. I've been accused of all kinds of shit, but you know what? Every chick I've ever dated, bar maybe one or two, they all know where I live. They all have my phone number. They all have a lot of fucking juicy information on me. So if even half of these accusations were true, I'd have been in prison a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I never have issues of disloyalty. I never have issues of women doing fuck shit to me. And I'm not the fucking dating coach. But you know what? Women observe as soon as they meet me that I have a certain standard for everybody I interact with. And if that standard is violated, I cut them off immediately. It doesn't matter if you're a close friend. It doesn't matter if you're a girlfriend. It doesn't matter who the fuck you are. Dishonesty is a stand is a major problem with me. If I catch you in a lie, you're gone. If I'm close to you, you get a warning. Listen, don't lie to me again or you're done. And if they do that again, I cut them off immediately. They're all frauds, man. Do as I say, but not as I do.